It's the return of the FA Cup and non league Bournemouth Wood. We're going to try to pull off the greatest upset of all time. Knocking out Premier League Everton. Can they do it? We'll take a little look. Next! Prediction video today. We'll forward to match number uh, well round five over in the FA Cup, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, where you been? Smash your subscribe button to keep you bang up today with all things FA Cup related, Babin Rose related, world football related. We got it all here, boys. And uh, one Ruski. That's right. The FA Cup returns, uh, but of course, a lot of major Premier League clubs looking for a bit of glory. Uh, of course, will they get it? Of course, we'll have to find out. But of course, until then, uh, we got the fifth round coming at you. Of course, we'll take a look at it in a minute. A big shout out to my VIPs there, the patrons, guys. Thank you for love, of course, behind the scenes. I really do appreciate it. And of course, if you're new, check out the link down below. Patreon.com forward slash Rover C. So here we go then. Uh, we're going to revisit the results last time around then. And of course, kick on forward to the fifth round itself. So, of course, there was a, lot of, there was a few tight games here. A couple of little shocks as well. Get all off with over at Old Trafford. Man United did lose on penalties to the middles. Right, they go through. Uh, goodness gracious me, well done to them. Knocking out United. Chelsea uh, made a uh, hard work of it up against Plymouth 2 and win for them as well. Same can be said for West Ham. Took extra time to get through over Kidder Mr. Harriers. Meanwhile, Crystal Palace picked up a tuna with a heart pull. No problem there. Got that one bang on the nose. Uh, meanwhile, one of the winners for, for Huddersfield over Barzi. Called it, lads. Absolutely called it as well. Meanwhile, QPR got knocked out. Peterborough go through. Of course, they got a bit of a mouth-watering tie as well. We get Manchester City next. Southampton, of course, got through as well against Coventry again on extra time. Everton squeaked past. Well, actually, quite comfortably went past Brentford in the end. Stoke City, two new winners over Wigan. I went with the other way on that one, but I got it wrong. City, of course, comfortably against Fulham. 4-1 winners in the end. Wolves got knocked out by Norwich. The Canaries are through. Uh, but, of course, how far will they go? Cambridge, of course, got knocked out by Luton Town. Three new win for them. Spurs doing uh, Brighton a favour knocking them out as well. 3-1 win on the night. Liverpool 3-1 win as well. 4-0 uh, was my pick. Forest uh, surprised Leicester City. Uh, didn't surprise me. I thought they could do it and they did as well. And of course, Bournemouth knocked out bloody big money. Big money Bournemouth. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Don't try to do that again. Bournemouth. Ha 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 ha. Knocked out by Bournemouth. Ha 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 ha. Okay, let's take a little look at, of course, the prediction league. Uh, here you go. Uh, take a blow. Uh, Andy Dack, 92 points on the board. I mean, 12 points on the board there. Pennywise also up there with him. Uh, so well done to you, sirs. I uh, kicking ass and taking names. Let's take a look at the overall leaderboard for the FA Cup. That was, of course, way back from match number one. Even to say, 71 points, six points clear. Oh, Shane O'Donnell. It's, it's his to lose right now. Uh, and Shepard also in the top bins right there, the top three. But of course, it can all change in the next few days, of course, with, of course, the return of the FA Cup. We've got the fifth round of matches coming at you. Get involved. It is free to enter. Get your naming lights. And these are the eight games, of course. The last 16 and I'm looking forward to it just like you we're going to kick it all off with da -da 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 -da. Peter up against Manchester City goodness gracious me that'll be on Tuesday I think it was on the on the 1st of March of course over at Peter they never played each other of course according to my eyes anyway I come at you the Peter have actually lost uh, or unbeat a uh, winless in five 25 percent form uh, for them right now up against the Manchester City side just one defeat past six for them uh, of course and City though coming to this on the back of uh, uh, they haven't lost the last seven away games but Peter haven't won in the last five games period uh, of course uh, Peter picked up a 2-1 loss against Fulham. Of course, this is on the the. I'm recording this on the day uh, prior to the start of the weekend's action. So two one loss to Fulham. They'll be taking on a hole this weekend where they are expected to win, but only just according to the bookies. Meanwhile, City did lose to Spurs three two loss last time around, and again taking on Everton this weekend as well, where they were expected to win as well. The also for this one 14 to one is your Peterborough, eight to one on is your Man City, and eight to one is your draw. There is the potential of a draw here, um, uh, which is a bit of a problem for my uh, for my Perica ruse, um, but we'll fix that anyway. So there is the po is there a draw? Uh, or maybe is there a replay? I don't. I don't even know. I don't even. I think. I think I'm just going to stick with it on the prediction board. But anyway, I'm going to go with a comfortable win for Manchester City. Three 0 win for them. Of course they will. Uh, kicking off forward into uh, what we're looking at here. We are looking at Crystal Palace. Uh, where the fucking hell is that game? I, don't, I can't even see it. I can't even see it. Uh, give me a second here. I think, I think one of the games is way out, way out wide. Uh, so give me a look at this. So Crystal Palace. Uh, oh, it's Stoke. That's why I can't see. I'm bloody blind. Uh, of course, there they are. Of course, played each other 29 times in 1983. 18 wins for Crystal Palace, 6 wins for Stoke, and 5 draws, of course. Just one defeat, though, in the past 5 games for Crystal Palace. 50% form up against the Stoke side. Just one defeat, past 6. 58% form as well. Stoke's biggest win over Crystal Palace was a 4-1 win. The biggest win the other way, also a 4-1 win. Uh, of course, last time I played each other in Selhurst Park was a 2-1 win for Palace back in November 2017. Uh, that was in the Premier League. The 
revert, uh, of course, uh, heading into this one. Palace picked up a 4-1 win over Watford. Uh, of course, that was back in February 2021. The reverse, uh, the Stoke picked up a 2-1 loss against Luton, of course, this past week as well. The odds go in favour. Oh, I've got basic odds on this one. The basic odds go in favour of Palace. They are overwhelming favourites. Stoke, of course, massively underdogs. I've gone with a 2-1 for Palace to take it to the house. Kicking off what is Middlesbrough. I've got Tottenham Hotspur over at the Riverside, of course. Which Tottenham Hotspur is going to show up? Of course, the one that destroyed uh, Manchester City or the one that uh, lost to the six-fingered freaks. Of course, coming at you, though, Middlesbrough have played Spurs 32 times in 995. Nine wins for Middlesbrough, 30 wins for Spurs, and 10 draws. Just one defeat, though, in the past six games for Middlesbrough right now. 75% form up against the Spurs side, who've won two, lost four of the last six games. Of course, Middlesbrough's biggest win over Spurs was a 5-1 win. The biggest win the other way was a 4 near win. And, of course, Spurs have scored 45 goals uh, compared to Middlesbrough's 40 over the course of those 32 games uh, since 1995, which works out around about 1.41 goals game ratio compared to Middlesbrough's 1.25. Of course, that's done each other over at the Riverside. It was a 1-1 a draw. It was in the FA Cup back in January 2020. They did have a replay. And, of course, it was a 2 for Spurs to go through. Anyway, Middlesbrough pick up a 2-1 win at West Brom, over at, uh, at uh, beating West Brom and the Riverside. Of course, Spurs did lose to Burnley over at Dingle Rand, which is a.k.a. Turdmoor. Of course, the odds for this one, 50-4 is your Middlesbrough, 11-4 is your draw, and 10-7 on is your Spurs. Uh, I'm going to go with Spurs on this one, but again, it could easily, easily be Middlesbrough, as, of course, they'll be looking not to lose this game and continue their cup run as well. Kicking off forward is Luton Town against Chelsea. This is a this is a fruity one as well. Pleasure just the one time since 2021. It was in the FA Cup back, of course, this time last season. Uh, around, around, it was in the round four as well, of course, over at Stamford Bridge, though, this time at Kenilworth Road. Now, Luton coming to this on the back of five wins in the past six, 83% form. I break the Chelsea side, who, of course, are winning six of them out. It's 100% form for them at the moment. Of course, Luton haven't lost in any of the last seven home games. Of course, Chelsea haven't lost in their last seven games, period. They have a six-game winning streak. Of course, Luton coming to this on the back of a 2-1 win over Stoke. Chelsea pick up a 2-1 win with 2-0 win over Lille last round. Of course, Chelsea will take on Liverpool in the Carabao Cup final. That's, of course, this Sunday. Uh, of course, Luton will take on Derby County over at the Championship as well, and they're expected to win that. And, of course, Chelsea are expected to lose the final up against Liverpool. The odds, though, 6-1 to one is your Luton. Of course, 5-2 to two on is your Chelsea, and 7-2 to two is your draw. A 2-0 win for me, but Chelsea on this one to go through. No surprises there. Kicking off with Southampton up against West Ham United, of course, over at St. Mary's. Now, these two sides have played each other 43 times since 1993. 14 wins for Southampton, 19 wins for West Ham, and 11 draws, of course. Southampton come to this on the back of uh, a five-game uh, uh, unbeaten run. Of course, pick up three wins and two draws, 67% form. Up against the West Ham side, one, two, lost two, drawn two, 50% form, of course. Uh, Southampton's biggest win over West Ham was a 3 0 win. The biggest win also the other way. It was also a 3 0 win for West Ham. Uh, West Ham have scored 63 goals against Southampton over the course of those 43 games, which, of course, Southampton have returned it with 48 goals, uh, which works out around about 1.12 goals a game ratio. Uh, kicking off forward, 1.47 goals a game ratio for West Ham over Southampton. Again, stretching back 43 games. Southampton coming to this. Uh, they haven't lost the last five games and they haven't lost in any of the last 10 home games with West Ham also unbeaten the last four. Last round at St. Mary's, it was in the Premier League this season. Because back in September, it was a near near draw. The reverse fixture, of course, uh, in the Premier League, it was a 3 2 win for Southampton. So back to back games for Southampton over, over West Ham uh, without a loss. Can they make it a three peat? We'll see about that. Southampton pick up a 2 0 win over Everton. Uh, of course, West Ham pick up a, two, a one more draw against Newcastle. The odds here Southampton 7 4, 6 4 is your West Ham, 25 is your quite tight here. Going to go with the, uh, the hosts here. 2 1 win for Southampton into the quarterfinals. They go. Maybe a bit of cup glory for Hassan Hall or his boys. Uh, kicking off already is Liverpool up against Norwich City again. Another all Premier League affair. Uh, of course, over at Anfield, played to the 19 times in 94, 15 wins for Liverpool, one win for Norwich, and three draws. Liverpool 100% four for them right now. Norwich, of course, uh, without a win in three. Uh, of course, biggest win for Liverpool over Norwich was a 5 0 win. The biggest win for Norwich over Liverpool was just a 1 0 win. And over the course of those 19 games, stretching all the way back to 1994, 55 goals Liverpool scored against Norwich, 18 goals returned, which worked out around about 0.95 goals game ratio compared to Liverpool's 2.89 uh, games, 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 games against ratio. <laughs> Get it out there. Of course, they did play each other just the other day. It's actually back on the 19th of February. It was a 3 1 win for Liverpool over NA. Anfield. They also played each other. Get this. This will be the fourth time they played each other this season. Uh, they played each other in the Premier League at Carrow. 3 0 win for Liverpool. They played each other in the EFL Cup round three at Carrow. 3 0 win for Liverpool. They played each other in the FA Cup. Oh, they're playing the main for FA Cup right now. But of course, they played in the Premier League at Anfield. 3 1 win as well. So, three goals uh, scored by Liverpool in the past three games. Uh, so this is the fourth time goodness gracious me of course uh, Liverpool coming to this on the back of a 6-0 win over Leeds uh, of course and uh, Liverpool coming to this uh, sorry Norwich coming to this on the back of a 3-1 loss against Liverpool but coming into the weekend Liverpool will take on Chelsea in the Carabao Cup of course Norwich will take on Southampton in the Premier League the odds though for this one Norwich are actually 12-1 for the victory 6-1 on is your Liverpool and 6-1 uh, is your draw so 6-1 on is your Liverpool on this one Liverpool will win this one surely 4-1 win going big uh, breaking the bit of a jinx on that one to, to take it to the house and then into the final two now we have of course Everton up against Bull 
Boredom Wood, that's right, of course. Oh, at Goodison Park now. Everton have never played Boredom Wood. Of course, they haven't, uh, of course. But Everton come into this one, two, and the last six of them, 33% form. I think it's Boredom Wood side. You're in a bit of a rough patch over in the non-league. Just one minute four for them, 58% form for them at the moment. Of course, uh, Southampton did beat Everton last round. Of course, Boredom Wood picked up a, a draw against Torquay back on the 22nd. Uh, Boredom Wood will take on Eastleigh this weekend. Of course, Everton will take on Manchester City this weekend, where, of course, uh, uh, Boredom Wood are expected to win. Everton are expected to get thumped on that one. As for the odds here, 7-1 to is your Everton. That's a 7-1 on 30-2 to two is your draw and 60 to 1 is your Bourne Wood. I've gone with a tournament for Everton. Unfortunately, this will be the end for Bourne Wood, but what a cup run it is, and of course, what a way to bow out in a fantastic Premier League uh, stadium that'll be a good and Park. And then finally, as a, a championship affair between Nottingham Forest and Huddersfield, a chance for one of these championship sides to make it through to the last uh, eight. Uh, of course, played each other 29 times since 1997. Of course, two informed teams at the moment over the championship. Of course, played each other 29 times, 12 wins apiece, and five draws. Of course, Forest coming to this, just one win, uh, one defeat past six, 67% form up against the Huddersfield side who haven't lost in I don't even know when uh, it's been at least unbeaten in the last six picking up four wins and two draws 83% form for them at the moment of course last time out at the City Ground it was in the league this season uh, back in of course December it was a one win for Huddersfield meanwhile they also played each other in Huddersfield this season it was a 2 win for Forest as well goodness gracious me Forest coming to the back of a video no draw against Preston of course Huddersfield pick up 2-1 win over Cardiff this weekend though Forest will take on uh, Bristol City at home they're expected to win that one Huddersfield will take on Birmingham and they're expected to win in, uh, the most, well, it's a tight one it's quite tight on that uh, they might even squeeze another game in before this game uh, of course with Forrest taking on Sheffield United Huddersfield taking on Peterborough we'll see if those games go ahead I don't know it's quite a long way about even Stevens is your Forrest on this one 12 5 is your draw and 13 5 is your Huddersfield I'm going with a 3 near win of course Forrest on their day they of course are one of the best teams if not the best team, I think, in the championship. But anyway, that's, of course, my take on it. Be sure to get your own take on it as well. It is Cutley Forshaw's FA Cup. It is free. Get in amongst it, and of course, you could have your name in lights next week. But that's it. Uh, smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe. Of course, we'll do uh, this all the way through to the final, I hope, anyway. But make sure you smash the thumbs up anyway. Check out the links down below. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Twitch, I'm on Facebook, and I'm also on Patreon. But until then, boys, we're done for now.